What's up YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Top Twice. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a new tag. Secretly being added there. Yeah, but people, people of people, they saw it. They saw it, they figured it out. And I want to tell you what does that mean. So, what do I mean with tag in general? Simple as that, collection on tags, here you go, something like this. And um, you're going to be like, new tag, great exhibition, no, this is not new, what is new? Well, simple as that, we can go into it, and here we go, all the way to the bottom, and there you see, we got the wild ride tag, and then there's something else, call of the wild. Currently, I do have 31 cast sets. Let's have a look. Um, call of the wild, those are some of those rights there very very interesting and so why do we have a new tag and why did hutch not like publicly announces and on social media and in the top drive show and so on so because most likely and anytime when we had like a tag in back in the days Think about the silver screen card challenge. Think about Year of the Red. Those tags usually relate to a specific event. And so we most likely will have a new event series coming, which will run for maybe one, two weeks. And then you will have chances to win cool stuff. Silver screen card challenge, um, you remember this? Which cars could we win? Which cars we needed? There were lots of cars. You cannot see them right now because it's gone, but um, um, how can I show you? Um, for example, a car which I won in the silver. I do it like this. It's easier. Uh, a car which was, which were you able to win in the silver screen car challenge was, for example, which is the Pontiac. There we go. The Firebird Trans Am. You were able to win this ba bad boy, basically. Then next you already saw it, maybe it was an Aston Martin, it was a Bulldog. Which is cool that this one is now as well a Call of the Wild car. The Bulldog you were able to win. With that Bulldog later you were able to win a Ford. And that was the Ford um, GT40. This one. And later, if you got all the way through it with your silver screen car, Cars, you had the chance to win an Aston Martin, the Aston Martin 177. So that was the silver screen car challenge and the silver screen uh, tag, basically. So that's why it's important now. What what does it mean for you? It means that you need to sit down, have a look what we have here, and let's have a look. Call of the world. Um, let's go through the cars and see how important they're going to be. To be honest, the Dodge Viper ACR is a great car and I'm actually very sad that I never really upgraded this any further. Um, with 95 handling, this goes over 100 handling. And so I can highly recommend you guys to work on that ride. The Dodge SRT Viper seems a little bit, um, yeah, not that strong. However, the mid-range is better. And we got a better, a little bit better 0 to 60, better top speed as well. Then the Ford Mustang Boss, one of my personal favorites, is um, a great city streets car. Very great city streets car. Medium ground clearance, one of the monsters for the city streets level. That's why I actually have a second one there as well. And uh, not maxed out, but I got the first maxed out um, one day. This one will be maxed out too. Dodge uh, Viper RT10 now has actually three tags, only for the time being and um, your your 90s car always liked it then we have the ford mustang gt this is like old school seriously how long do i have this car 1036 days one of the first cars i had in top drives um haven't used it so much anymore um, than most advanced mustang ever now available in the uk haven't used it so much as i used it back in the days actually would be cool to have a little a uh, stat here which tell, tells you like used it last time, you know, kind of. Then we have the Aston Martin Bulldog. Really didn't use it much yet, as you can see. <laughs> Not much. Zero yet. Um, I think it's about time this car will be used. Uh, let's see, let's see. Then we have the Plymouth Maracuda Ford Mustang if you need a lower IQ um, city streets level car. Ground, medium ground clearance there as well. Plymouth Roadrunner. Interesting because there are standard tires. Then um, 
this is an old school ride always an all-rounder always if you need a, a low IQ drag car the Chevrolet Impala I got two of them very useful another drag car for anything dirty is a Ram Dodge Lil Red Express truck uh, then we have another Dodge Ram the Rebel um, off-roader four-wheel drive I like it very cool then Ooh, ooh, and I'm excited to actually now definitely work on the second one. Let me do that right away. Because uh, the Opel Manta 400 Rally is a great ride. It's seriously a great ride. Good stats for 32 RQ. And that's why there's a second one. I will definitely not get rid of this Ford Mustang at the moment. Because you never know how useful those cars are going to be. Volkswagen New Beetle RSI. Here we go, low ground clearance, but we got four wheel drive performance tires. So maybe if there's a bit of rain, this can be useful. Then um, another Opel is the Opel Manta 400. Uh, good stats as well. A um, little bit better in handling than the 400 Rally, but the 400 Rally is a little bit faster than 0 to 60. So both of them recommended to keep. Pontiac GTO Judge, I will keep it for now for sure. We don't know how good this is going to be. Suzuki Swift Rally Spec was always this car which went up and down, up and down regarding um, um, how much you used it. Since it's 48 and it's the same ranks like the Datsun and Abad Rally and so, I don't use it so much anymore. But um, let's see, let's hope for a little bit of dirt coming for the challenge, then those cars are going to be useful. There we have a second Manta. Manta 400 as well, we'll keep this baby too. Then uh, maybe a lower Q standard tires car. Fiat Panda 100 HP. Um, 86 handling is not bad, medium ground clearance, oh yes. Here we go, another um, off-roader. And there we have another off-roader and another off-roader. So I really, really think that we will have some dirt going on. Then we have three cars. Um, three common rides, um, the Aston Martin Signet, uh, standard tires, uh, very similar to the smart car, if you know it from Mercedes-Benz, um, 8.7, 75 handling, medium ground clearance, actually all right, top speed, a good all round, I would say, let's see, did I ever use it? Yeah, for eight races I did so far, um, haven't had so much of use for it. Then we have the um, Volkswagen New Beetle Cabriolet, uh, 80 handling, medium ground clearance, excited, excited. And here we go, speaking about the, the standardized ones, we got the Fiat Panda 400, which I saw a few times already. And as you can see, even, even uh, not having it maxed out, I already used it a few times. So it's about time to max out those babies. So I'm excited, I wanna see if, I'm actually able to, if a challenge will come up and we need those cars, if I'm able to compete and to be competitive with those rides. I really have high hopes for that. Really have high hopes. I really hope we will have like a city streets track level and the Ford Mustang boss will kill it on this one. Maybe about time to work on the second one. Who knows, who knows? I'm super excited. Those cars I will currently add those rides because I want to make sure that I actually work now on this baby because he needs to be maxed out as soon as possible. Ladies and gentlemen, the new car tech. Are you as excited as I am? Because I am very excited. And um, yeah, so let's see what kind of call of the wild carbon fiber packs we will have. I really hope that Hutch is considering to um, drop a nice little teaser offer, something like a 999 gold coins offer. That would be great. Please, Hutch, do that. We all want that. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish you a pleasant day. Enjoy your weekend. That was the Casual Mobile Gamer, and I'm out.